let me quickly teach you some useful tips for your uh, physics 152 just some little tricks that if you know them they are really going to help you let's try uh, some questions from college physics so look at this so let me quickly copy this question so now this so this is the question now if you look at this question i'm having a 12 ohm um, resistor and a 5 ohm resistor that's an there's an internal resistance of 1 ohm and this is 18 volts supply now most likely what you are going to have is what you have only one current passing through all of them right so you can easily find that current the current will just be the total resistance and you divide use it to divide the voltage so the voltage is 18 divided by total resistance is 12 plus 5 plus 1 that's this so this is what 18 divided by 18 which is 1 ampere so this is the total current so that means the current coming out of here is 1 and goes into this goes into this so you can find your voltages right so the voltage of this will be i r so that's 1 times 12 which is 12 volts so this is 12 volts this is also 5 times 1 which is 5 volts right but it is not compulsory that you find the total uh, that you find the current before you find the voltage it's a very easy way to find the voltage even even if you don't know the current so if you have resistors that are connected in series like these two guys and also this one inside here how do we find their voltages and the voltage of a resistor is going to be what the total supply voltage multiplied by what that resistor divided by the total resistance this is how we get the voltage of a resistor this rule we call it the voltage divider rule so let's try it out let's say we want to find the voltage of this 12 ohm so the voltage of the 12 ohm resistor will be the total voltage is what 18 multiplied by the resistance we are looking for is what 12 over the total of all the remaining resistance 12 plus 5 plus 1 this gives us what 18 we can do 18 we give we get what 12 volts so that's the resistance of this you can do the same thing for the voltage of the 5 ohm it was the total voltage is 18 multiplied by we are looking for that of the 5 ohm you add all the other ones under it so you have 1 plus 5 plus 12 so this will also give us 5 volts so if you notice this very well, what you are just doing is what you are doing the total voltage multiplied by the fraction of the resistance that that resistor is taking out of all of the resistors so that's essentially what you are doing that resistance we do its fraction so its fraction is just the resistance divided by the total resistance now note here that you do the, the fraction of that particular resistance that you are looking for its voltage right so let's look for another one this is another one okay okay it's still the same question they just did it in another way so we have 12 volts and we have about 5 volts so let me see if i can find another one where i'll be asked to find voltage across the resistors so this is to determine the current okay let me try this out too so here let me copy this so i have this 
how do I solve this question? Now I want to get the current, right? I want to get the total current. I want to get the current through this, through this. Or oh, I don't know what the question said. Through the battery. So I want to know the current through this battery. So although there are many other ways that I can use. So the easiest way is just to use uh to find this total resistance. Find it with this, find it with this, then uh then you use uh what do I call it? Then you divide by what? That the total voltage and you have the answer. So what's going to be the total of the resistors? So I will have 0.4 is in series with the 5 ohm plus. Both of them are in parallel with the 7 ohm and the 3 ohm. So I will do 1 over 1 over 7 plus 1 over 3. So I get the total to be what 7.5. So I will do 30 divided by 7.5. That gives me 4. So that means the current here is what 4 amperes. 4 amperes is the current coming out of this cell, right? Now I can now use this 4 ampere. That's the current through this particular 5 ohm resistor. Now I can use this 4 ampere to find the current in this 7 ohm resistor and also the current in this 3 ohm resistor. As you can see, they are in parallel. I will use what we call current divider. Now, current divider is a little bit different from voltage divider. Maybe it is voltage divider, the incoming voltage or the total voltage times the fraction of that resistance. Now, if it is current divider that you want to use, you use the incoming current, the incoming current multiplied by the fraction of what? Of the other resistance. That's what you do. So you see that I'm, I'm writing out prime. What does out prime mean? That means I will leave the resistor and do the fraction of the other resistor that I'm having. So that means if I want to find the current in this 7 ohm resistor, the current in this 7 ohm resistor is what? The current that comes in, which is 4, multiplied by. So instead of doing the fraction of this 7, I'll do the fraction of the 3. So I'll just say 3 over 3 plus 7. So this gives me what? 12 over 10. Which is what 1.2 amperes. So that's the current here. Sorry, that's the current here. And the current in the 3 ohm will be what the incoming current. I won't do the fraction of the 3 ohm, I'll do the fraction of the other one, which is what the 7 ohm. So 7 over 3 plus 7. So this gives me what 47 is 28 over 10, which is 2.8 amperes. So that's what the current here and the current here. Okay. So that gives us the answer, right? So what if I didn't want to get this current and I wanted to get this voltage? I have to make sure that these two guys are one, right? So I can use the voltage divider. Because for voltage divider, all your resistors must be connected in series. So you have to have turned these two guys to only one resistor, right? So to turn them to only one resistor, I'm going to have one over. 1 over 7 plus 1 over 3. So I get what? 2.1. So that means that these two together gives what? 2.1 ohms. So I can omit them and put 2.1 ohms. And what do I do? I just need to divide the voltage between these ones that are now in series. So what do I do? To get the voltage of the 5 ohm resistor, it will just be what? The total voltage is 30 multiplied by the fraction of its resistance. That's 5 over 5 plus 4.4 plus 2.1. Right? So that was 20 volts. Isn't that true? It's true because 5 times 4 is also 20. So that means I didn't even need to find the current before I can find the voltage, right? 
I didn't need to find the current. So once I know that the, the voltage here is 20, I will just divide it by 5 and I get the current to still be what? 4 amperes. So it's what? It's extremely easy to do these stuff when you know, especially when you know what you want to do. So look at that. We have what? 4 amperes, right? So we have another one that we can try. Seven ohm, one ohm, and series. There is no diagram. Okay, this one has a diagram. So we are finding each of these currents, right? So what will I do? So let's let's bring it out. So, supply voltage is 40, right? I just need to do the total of all of this, right? So, if I do the total of all of that, now this is going to be a little bit complex to use. Now, look at this. So, if I do the total, the total will be 1 over 1 over 5 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 8. So I would 40 over 33. Then this is the total resistance, right? So I, will, I have to divide this by the voltage. I will use it to divide the voltage so that I can know the current, right? So I will say 40 divided by that answer. So that's 33 amperes. So that means that this current is 33 amperes. Now, how will I split it for these guys? Now, don't forget that I must have only two resistors in parallel before I can use the current divider rule. So that means that if I want to do the current here, I will consider these two as what only one resistor, right? So that means I have to do their total, right? So what's going to be their total? Their total will be what? One over one over five plus one over eight. So this is their total, right? So let me store it. So I'll store it as A. So what will I now do? I will now do the incoming current, which is 33, multiplied by the fraction of the other one, which is that one that I just calculated. So that one that I just calculated is in A over the resistor is what? 2 plus A. Right? So what's the answer? 20 amperes. So that means that the current here is 20 amperes. 20 amperes. What if I want to find the current here? I will consider this and this as only one, right? So I will do their total. I will consider them as one and do their total. So I'm going to do one over one over two plus one over eight. So this is their total. So store it as a right so the, the, the current in it will now be what the total incoming current multiplied by the fraction of the order which is just what i just calculated over that resistance is what five plus that a again we got that eight ohms eight amperes sorry so that means the current here is eight amperes so I don't need to calculate the last one. I'll just do 20 plus 8. 28. Remove it from type 3. I have what? 5. 5 amperes. So let's check. 20 amperes, 8 amperes, 5 amperes. So let's check the book. 20 amperes, 8 amperes, 5 amperes. So that's what? That's a simple trick to use to calculate. Now in this case, what are we have to find? Find the current drawn from the battery. Find the current drawn from the battery. I can do this total resistance and divide it by the voltage, right? So total resistance of all of this will be what? It's going to be uh, 1 over 1 over 15 plus 
1 over 15. What I could have done 1 over 15 times 3 plus 1 over 15. And this gives me what? 5. So that's what is even written here. So it is 5. So I will add, I will now do what? I will now find the current. The total voltage is what? 24 divided by 4.7 plus 5 plus 4.3. So this gives me 4. So the current coming out from here is 4 amperes. Right? So I forgot to copy it. Let's copy it. Let's not do it here because I can't write here. So let's bring it here. So we got 4 amperes for the current. Right? So the current coming out of this cell is 4 amperes. So this current is 4 amperes, right? Now let's get the current here. Now all of these resistors are equal. So the current will be splitted equally among them, right? So this 4 amperes current will be splitted into 3 equal parts. That will just be 4 over 3. Each one of them will be 4 over 3 amperes because the resistors are equal, right? And if you like, you can do it the other way too. But this, we don't even need to calculate it. It's just 4, amp 4 over 3 amperes. Because the current will be split equally among them. So let's check for the current is what 4 amperes. So the calculated voltage. Is that what? The terminal voltage of the battery. Okay. The current in the 5 ohm resistor. So that's all of these currents. It's still four. It's still um, four amperes. It should still be four amperes. Okay, one point three. So the current. This is the current in each fifteen ohm resistor. Was that the question? Okay, the current in each five ohm. No, in each fifteen ohm. Not in each five ohm. It should be in each fifteen ohm. So that's when it's about 1.3, right? Which is exactly what we also got. So the last part has also calculate what? The terminal voltage of the battery. So how do we get the terminal voltage? The terminal voltage is just you calculate the voltage across the internal resistor and remove it from the total voltage. So the terminal voltage is going to be what? Voltage across that's the total voltage minus. The voltage across the internal resistor will be 0.7 times 4. And that is what? 21.2 volts. So let's check that out. 21.2 volts. We have that. So this is 21.2 volts. So that's the voltage across. That's the terminal voltage. That means what is coming out. So what is coming out will just be the total minus what is lost. And what is lost is the voltage across the internal resistance so let's try more let's try more and see how easy it is for us to do this kind of circuits especially when you have only one point where there is a supply that you don't need to use catch-off so all these ones are exceptionally easy to do